Well, I was in the headlines just recently, honey, you know, because of, you know, defending my community like I do. Now, I want to say this before I even start, because I'm going to give y'all something to pump. Oh, no. I'm, you know, I'm going to go ahead on the start. Are we ready, Mo, now? I'm going to go ahead on the start. Mo, don't have no attitude with me. Don't do that. Click the video. Let's watch. <laughs> what <I'm doing. laughs> T.S. Madison has called out anti-LGBTQ plus rapper Boozy Badass for walking out of the color purple over its lesbian romance plot. The rapper claimed he left the screening with his children as it was inappropriate. Taking to X, the 41-year-old blasted Oprah Winfrey and Steven Spielberg's latest musical adaptation of Alice Walker's Pulitzer Prize, winning 1982 novel. Badass wrote, I had to walk out of this color purple movie because I had my little girls with me and it seemed like a rainbow love story. The color purple follows the story of Celie, an African-American woman living in rural Georgia in the 20th century, and her brutal experience experiences of domestic and sexual abuse, racism, and sexism. In the novel, Sully engages in a same-sex romance with Shug Avery, an erotic relationship which was infamously erased by Spielberg in his 1985 film and reduced to a single kiss. Badass was blasted by social media users for his comments about the film, with many calling out lyrics he has previously used in songs sexualizing sapphic women and the fact that his own daughter, 21-year-old Poison Ivy, is gay. One user wrote, you clearly never seen the first one either, and you got a gay daughter, with another adding, the original book and movie is a black queer love story. Stop being a loser. But as followed up with a second post, stating that we have a right as parents to say it's not cool for a seven and nine year old to watch this. He added, I have no problem at all with rainbow people. Trans reality star and actress Tease Madison was among those who hit back at the rapper. Taking to X, she wrote, sir, the character you play in real life is Mr., the daddy, the pastor, and all the other men who abused Celie in that movie and have the nerve to finally be concerned about what a kiss would do to influence your daughter. Bitch. So I like the way that real news. This some people may take this as a jab, some people may others may not. I don't know, but I really like the way that real news took the things that I said and they put it together and they laid it down on the timeline. There were other blogs and places that were that were taking things out of sequence because they were trying to attempt to make it seem like that Miss, excuse me, that Mister, that Mister Hatch had read me to the oh, ground. Hatch, I think Torrance Hatch, Terrence or something, that Mr. Hatch had read me to the floor. But again, you know, let's take it back to the beginning of, of how it all had began. Let's put it, I hope we have it in sequence. We do. There we go. So I had made a post and I had stated on, in this post, it may be too small for your eyes to see. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see. I said, you sat through this, you sat through that, you know. You sat there with your daughter with, while Mr. Enslaved Seeley to cook and clean his nasty house with his children. You sat there with your daughter and watched Mr. Beat, Section Destroy, and drag Seeley all over the floor. You sat there with your daughter and watched Mr. Bring the Side Chicken to the house with Seeley. But then you got up to leave when you saw Seeley finally find love and compassion and some sort of temporary relief from Mr.'s prison. Then you try and come to social media and bring the what about the kids mine campaign that you've been on and attempt to use God to justify you and the people who stand with you to they call us delusional. Sir, the character you play in real life is Mr. The daddy, the pastor and all the other men who abused Seeley in that movie and have the nerve to finally be concerned about what a kid's a kiss would do to influence your daughter. There is truly some intervention needed in your life to sort out some of the homosexual demons you're fighting. Hashtag shift the concern this year, 2024. Hashtag the color purple. Let's move that. So I was met with some hostility from the people outside that all, that were in agreement with Boosie. Um, and they were speaking about how he has the right to have an opinion. And he has the right to raise his children the way that he chooses to raise his children. And he has the right to express his opinion about this movie. And he has the right. Nowhere in that did I take away the notion that he didn't have a, a reason to have an opinion. So let's follow up. So he addressed me. He responded to me, which, you know, for I've been, I, yes, I have been wearing him out for years. But this year, 2024, he decided that he wanted to respond to me. Let's take a look. 
So he says, T.S. Madison, you seem offended because the truth hurts. The movie had great acting, but it's just not appropriate for my little girls to watch. And it's not just me, transsexual Maddie. <laughs> I, I, I like that jab that he did, but it's okay because, you know, I, I, unlike other people, stand completely in my truth. Um, transsexual Maddie that feels this way, shaking my head. Go read all the comments across social media about the film. It's a lesbian hashtag, excuse me, air quotes, a lesbian classic. A lesbian classic, but good film. And just because someone don't agree, that makes them homosexual. So everyone who disagrees is rainbow. Maybe you're mad at yourself. <laughs> Why? But anyway, you've been mad at me since I told the tranny swimmer, get out the damn pool. Leave me alone, my nigga. So everybody that saw that tweet from him was going up like, yeah. Like, and the blogs posted that. Like I didn't tear him. Y'all already know I shredded him like motherfucking goddamn pool pork. And it was very much so like, yes, he called it my nigga, my nigga. If anybody out there in the world knows me, y'all hoes know that I'm T.S. Madison. What? what, 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 what. Y'all hoes know I'm T.S. Madison. I tell y'all, I got dick balls, nuts, ass, bitch, testosterone, and motherfucking goddamn uh, 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 est estrogen in me, bitch. Y'all know, I tell y'all, I'm mixed up with all the things, bitch. I am congri, bitch, with, with beans and rice together. Y'all know, ain't none of that shit. Y'all calling me a man, Mr. Sir. None of that shit don't do nothing to me because I stand on mine. And a lot of you hoes that be doing all that talking, bitch, ain't walking what y'all need to be fucking walking, bitch. So none of that hurting me. So obviously that was an attempt to jab me. And let me, let me address what I didn't address. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about no transsexuals and transgender, and, and I may get backlash from my own community for this, but I need to just say it. I don't give a fuck about no transsexuals and no transgenders and no any of this stuff and no sports. They don't got shit to do. I'm lazy, bitch. I don't want to throw a football or kick a soccer ball. I don't give a fuck about no sports. So, bitch, if a hoe in a pool or if they not, I don't give a fuck about it. You got to talk to somebody who wants to, who who stands on the rights of defending that type of shit. I don't give a fuck about no transgenders and shit in this in sports and <laughs> They don't got shit to do with me. Nothing. I'm not finna be, I'm not in the sports. So I don't give a fuck about it. So don't ask me my opinion on that shit because I don't care. I'll be looking at y'all hoes as why in the fuck you want to be out there throwing a basketball or football or soccer ball bitch or swimming against some motherfucker anyway. But that ain't, don't, don't ask me about that. We just talking about bitch us, me in conclusion in, in other aspects of society. That, that sports shit, I don't give, you could never offend me about that. That ain't, that's not my thing. So let's go on. So I had to gather his ass like I had to gather his old looking ass like a small fucking ponytail bitch. So let's go to my response to him. I said, beloved, I am not in any way angered at you, sir. There is no accountability ever taken for any of the contributions that you add to the demise of our community. Our community as in black peoples. You have folks agreeing with you only because they are just as misguided as you in their thoughts. You again sat with your daughter through all the parts, dehumanizing and demeaning a black woman, sex slave, a black woman, and beat a black woman. And the moment that the black woman finds love from a woman from up under a black man's abuse, it's too much. And now it becomes a gay agenda. Well, I shouldn't expect much from a man who paid grown women to sexually assault his teenage son and nephew, thinking that makes him a man. No, sir. That makes them and you a mister. As long as you speak on making our existence as LBGTQIA and other motherfucking letters people an agenda to hurt kids, I'll be right there to remind you of your part in damaging kids. Be blessed, beloved. First of all, I stand 10 toes down on every fucking thing that I said in that, in, in that rebuttal. In that rebuttal, I stand 10 toes down on it because you sat there as a black man and you took your daughter, your seven-year-old, eight, I don't know how old your daughter is. It doesn't even fucking matter. And in no way, because I did see a guy, a, a black guy, I want to call you out because I know you watch my videos. And I watched his review of it and he said that I 
am anti-black man. Sir, that's not true. I only pointed out, obviously, you didn't watch the movie either because the, 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 her oppressors were all black men. Had they, had they been other folks, they are also Miss Millie was an oppressor in the movie. We, but he, he didn't talk about Miss Millie. He didn't get to that fucking part. I talked about all this stuff, what, what, what this black man was doing to this black woman, and you sat there with your daughter, and you didn't get up at any of those points. And someone was arguing the point of, well, how do you know that he said he didn't he didn't get up from that? Because obviously you bitches didn't watch the movie because all of this happened before the, the kiss transpired. So you sat there and you watched. This you sat, you watched, you absorbed and you you didn't you and your voice wasn't loud about this. I could have seen you saying you could have been mad about the portrayal of black men. I could have been, I could see if you were angry about that. I wouldn't have said shit. If you were saying the portrayal of black men, they always making it seem like black men do this to women. And that, what about the, what about the Kings that support the Queens, man? I would have been more so like, I would have hushed my fucking mouth. If you would have looped that into your statement, but you jumped up from your statement and you found that the most heinous part of that film was the kiss between the two women. The, the most heinous part. And what sickened me to my stomach was all the black women who, after the blogs posted me, and some posted some unflattering pictures of me, and it's okay, because, bitch, I know what I look like in real fucking life. When, after the blogs posted the stuff, y'all hoes was down there really on the the he he as in me needs to shut his mouth and he ain't got no kids and he always want people to agree with that gay stuff and he when i'm over here like ma'am do you not see that this man had no problem with any of this because because obviously what if you had a problem about you spoke out about it the beating the dragon this if i was if i was a real black man nigga i would be so tired of movies depicting me as a black man dragging and doing things awful things to black women. I would have been so more upset at that. I would have been angry at that. And y'all bitches sat in that fucking comment section and tried to drag me. It's because I'm a tranny. That don't bother me, that tranny shit. That don't mean a motherfucking thing to me because I live better than a lot of you bitches, bitch. Just try, bitch, just, just trying to figure out. How to make it. So that don't, none of that shit don't bother me. I live great as a tranny. Thanks. But it's just the fact that you skipped over all of that to prove the point that I'm, I'm making. That you have so much disdain and you have so much ill feelings towards the LBGTQIA community because it's been embedded in you from a system, from a religious system that makes you feel this type of way that you are that you are so desensitized to the abuse that this woman was taking. But you were like, I don't want my kids seeing two women's kids. What kind of shit? You people, that's why I said we need to heal in 2020, motherfucking four. Colored people, we need to heal. H-E-A-L, bitch, we need to heal. So it was so awful that I saw so many, and so many black women were adding me. Y'all don't see my mentions. Y'all don't see this. Y'all hoes be telling me to, to, to get somewhere and sit down like I shouldn't respond. Y'all hoes be adding, adding me, adding me. I, my mentions be loaded from black women defending this man. And I was like, wow. Wow. So he decided to respond to me again. Let's go to his response to that, that I cut him off like mid-sentence because I couldn't take it anymore. Right here. So he put trans Maddie, T.S. Tran, tran Maddie one. That's not my community. So he completely put me, which, which shows me that he completely put me out of the black community. When I said our community as in black. So this just lets me know he completely removed me from the black community. So which 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 most colored do trans Maddie trans what well, that's not my community that's your community and before I say anything this movie was labeled a lesbian classic. Now 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 if it was labeled a lesbian classic why did you take your daughter if you if it was labeled that 
And then it says a le lesbian classic all over the internet. Second my head, why are you show? I was like, I didn't got time. But I said, let's get our grammatical errors correct first and then return to this conversation between adults. Then I continue to tell him this. We've come to the conclusion that one, you did not read. And two, you cannot read, especially attempting to read me. I said, sir, pass the basic minimum skills test and then return to have a conversation with me. So if he didn't know what that meant, that was a that was a nod to lean on me mm -hmm. since you a movie watcher. Right. That was a that was a, a heterosexual class. Right. Right. That was a nod to lean on me. Joe Clark. Joe Clark. And then I said, let me let me let you in on a little secret, bitch. That was a nod to Friday. Uh huh. Right. Mm -hmm. Since I'm doing movie nods. Uh huh. Right here. You girl, you girls not equipped for my reads. They they that shit went over. They not equipped. They went over your head. Right. I said, well, let me let you in on a little secret. God made Adam and Eve and Steve and even made Timothy. That was a nod to me. Right. Bitch, to let you know that you cannot outread a reader. Bitch, I'm psychic. <laughs> then he said, and I said, but the acts of predatory behavior on your sons that has been generationally passed from your grandfather to you and now from you to your sons have created a new era of mister. That type of parenting breeds more danger to our community. Yes, our community, honey, cause um, bitch, I'm black too. And that was a nod to me on Beyonce's album, bitch. Cozy, if you didn't know, now you do. Then I said, getting pussy don't make you a straight or keeping you straight, dear, you're the same man who watched thoroughly a man hold his ankles and rolled a penis in your former your former home. Excuse me, I meant in jail, and you're still fighting that erection to this day. Which was a nod back to me saying, you're battling demons that you need to get out of, that you need those homosexual demons so I wasn't calling the man homosexual. I was just saying there was some demons that you're battling because, bitch, you've been traumatized since you've seen that man ride that motherfucking dick in that bathroom. Has he not, Mo? Can we get it from the mouth, the horse's mouth? Please run it from the horse's mouth. And I thank you this fucking morning. Can we get it from the horse's mouth? Or do we got it? We, we, don't, we don't have that particular thing. Okay. You know, we deleted. You know, we delete stuff after we use it. No, I sent it to you. But we got it. We got it. We got it. The children over here screaming this right here. I'm sorry, Mo, that you didn't gather the things. Hold on. <laughs> and I gave it over to Jesus. And I stopped worrying about it. Oh, gave it over. The horse's mouth said this. Hold on. And then go, I walked down on a nigga riding a nigga dick from the back. You didn't get that, Mo? No. Oh, a nigga had a nigga ankles riding that bitch from the back, man. I ain't know about the cocaine and the shawl, you heard? Nigga ain't even tell me. I walked straight in at six in the morning. Nigga riding that dick. I said, man, I want to go home, man. Fuck that, man. I said, man, I want to go home, man. I got to call the lawyers for all kind of bum. Man, give me a motherfucking bum, man. That shit fucked my head up. Another nigga riding a nigga dick, man. Taking that bitch. I'm talking about riding a nigga dick. That shit, that nigga said, damn, you don't start saying my bad, man. Yeah, I ain't no man. Fucking the shit out of that nigga in that bitch. That sounds like some trauma to me. Sound like he. That sounds like that he stood over in that corner while that man wrapped his hands around that other man's ankle and rolled that motherfucking dick. It sounds like that there was a whole lot of trauma going on in that. He wanted to get home because. So we don't know if they because they bitch when two husky men is and I don't even like to see two men fucking doing all that. My dick be somewhere harder than a brick. No more ideas, so I'm gonna play it again. I remember I was in that goal. I walked down on a nigga riding a nigga dick from the back. A nigga had a nigga ankles riding that bitch from the back, man. I ain't know about the cocaine and the shawl, you heard? Nigga ain't even tell me. I walked straight in at six in the morning. Nigga riding that dick. I said, man, I wanna go home, man. Fuck that, man. I said, man, I wanna go home, man. I got to call the lawyers for all kind of bum. Man, give me a motherfucking bum, man. That shit fucked my head up. Another nigga riding a nigga dick, man. 
Taking that bitch onto my arm. Riding a nigga dick. That shit. That nigga said, damn, you I said, my bad, man. Yeah, I ain't no man. Fucking the shit out of that nigga in that bitch. Bitch, that was deep. Deeper than the pussy of a bitch. Six feet. Stiff dick feels sweet in this little petite. Come on, little Cam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, when I be making statements, I don't just come way out of left field talking out my mouth, bitch, for some clicks and fucking views, bitch. I make statements because I done sat down and I done thought about it. Okay? I done sat and I done thought about what the fuck was going on. And so my thing was, bro, you actually are the same man that you cannot speak on your parenting skills when you've done this. We playing again. Hold on. Oh, you ain't got this one either. It's okay. I got it. Yeah, they were twelve, thirteen. They got hit. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, hell yeah, I got my fucking son dick sucked. Boys, right, ain't in my 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 nephew, ain't in 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 my nephew, ain that now nah, I'm heterophobic, and which is impossible. I'm heterophobic, and also that none of the none of the thing none of the facts that I stand ten toes down on are concrete in my stance. It's impossible for you to even fix your brain to think that I'm coming and saying something like out of the out of the. I'm using when I speak or when I have a rebuttal for something. The same thing it was with just hilarious. When I speak or I have a rebuttal, so I use y'all own words, what comes out of y'all own motherfucking mouth to point out the facts, what you said about yourself. You done said this shit about yourself. You done said this shit about what done what your experiences was. And so I'm only pointing out like, well, hey, you said this. So obviously if you saying this, you got some type of trauma in your system from your experience. That's all I be saying. And then you motherfuckers be sitting over there acting like that I, I'm I'm saying some abstract or some type of weirdo ass shit that that's that's unbelievable, that's incredible. And at me all day, telling me you know, a lot of you hoes, you want to at me because you want to tell me I'm a man. You a man, sir? You will never have kids. That that ain't got nothing to do with the price of rice in China. We're not talking about that here because I've already said I don't want no pussy. I don't have no pussy. I like my dick suck and I'll fuck you and your nigga if I needed to, bitch. So you ain't saying nothing to me that ain't that ain't in my brain. Let's let's lay down the facts. Fact is that that man got up out of his motherfucking seat over two women's kissing. The same nigga that said that he want two red bones kissing in the back seat. Now, I didn't even point out the fact that Seely was dark and Suge was light. So is it because they're not two red bones? Did, we, did you have a problem? I ain't even point that out. I ain't even use your words. I ain't even use your own words like that against you. I ain't even point out the colorism part. Did I, was it, is it because there wasn't two red bones kissing in the fucking back seat? I want to know. And the reason why I always say some fucking shit is because a lot of you hoes are scared of niggas and street. I'm a street bitch. I'm not scared of no nigga. A lot of y'all hoes be scared of them niggas and stuff like that because, you know, bitches write me, oh, Booster got a breath. Booster got bodies. Booster, I don't give a fuck, but this the internet. This the internet. I'm going to say what the fuck I, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, you, you get up and you say some shit about a community that I'm a part of, which means you talking about me. You're speaking about motherfucking me. So, bitch, if the rest of them hoes could sit down, I'm not. What you said, sir? Sir, so, what did you say? Because according to you, you want two red bones kissing in the back seat. Is it because Seely was dark and Suge was red? And it didn't fit your narrative? I don't know which faggy 
that you around or which faggy that you've hired to work you they better you they need to inform you that you this you don't want none of this none of this right here because i'm gonna bring you back to you i've always said bitch you can go back to way back when you first started this campaign of this this the kids main shit Oh yeah, we can't post that. No, no, no. That's yeah, and you the same nigga that had hoes eating pussy on Instagram live. I'm looking at the screenshot right here. You had hoes eating pussy on Instagram, but you worried about the kids. And you women that sit up there, you black women that sit up there and 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 be trying to you just uh, just want to attack me because I'm trans. It's be it's only because I'm trans. Only because. Because if you anyway align yourself with shit like that as a black woman, you only showing me your bigotry. And it's okay. You don't got to, I don't give a fuck if you don't like trannies. They don't got nothing to do with me. But when I'm stating the fact, get the fuck out the way. Because if you over there in that shit, if you gonna lay, or lay there with your legs open to get your pussy eight, five miles going motherfucking north, bitch, with Fabusi on an app that has kids on it. And then talk about a fucking an agenda. Miss me with that. There's another elephant that I didn't get the opportunity to address in the room. The elephant when I said, where were the lesbians? Where were my lesbian sisters, bitch, that sat silent? When I, when I, yes, you got it. Thank you for having that one more. My God. A woman pointed this out. A black woman pointed this out and says, I find it shocking that no, not one lesbian woman spoke out in defense of T.S. Madison. But she said she loved me. And somebody robbed that, ran up under that thing and they, they commented and they said, when it matters, lesbian women don't really rock with the male of the gay community. They will see her as a threat. Let's talk about it. Well, my boy Daggers and Dykes. He was definitely laying y'all out because I'm definitely not a boy Dagger or a motherfucking Dyke. Bitch, but when there's some oppression going on in my community, bitch, I don't just see one. I don't see the butch queen. I don't see the tranny. I don't see the fag. I don't see the, I see the, I see you talking to me directly because I fall under that umbrella. That's what, that's what's called holding your community. That's what's called standing in solidarity with your community, bitch. That's what it's called. No, I'm not a lesbian. I ain't laying on top of there another motherfucking woman. I ain't laying on top of there another motherfucking feminine man without my consent or knowledge, bitch. I'm not seeking out femininity, none of that. I ain't no fucking dyke, no lesbian, bitch, no bull dagger, no lipstick lip, none of that. But bitch, when they when he came forth with that shit, I felt some kind of fucking way. But you had some lesbian bitches under there talking about hey, them his kids. Them is his kids. You know why? Because y'all hoes don't be liking trannies. And it's okay. But when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm motherfucking right, bitch, I'm right. Regardless of the fact that however you feel about me, when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm standing 10 toes down on it, bitch, I'm right. Sometimes I be feeling left out in the rain and shit like that when, when, when shit be going down in the community and I be the only bitch on, in, in my area. I don't do this for the, for the blogs to pick up. I don't know what the fuck the blogs could be. The blogs could suck my dick. I don't know what they're going to pick up. They don't put nothing else out I, I, I tweet about or write about. They don't do nothing else, bitch. They don't, write, they don't write about none of the accomplishments I do. They don't write about none of that shit. And that's why I praise and motherfucking uplift myself because if I don't, none of them other motherfucking niggas do and they don't give a fuck what I'm doing. So yes, when you see me bragging about what y'all consider bragging about this and the other, yes. Bitch, I'm going to uplift me because you, you hoes would think I sit around and just post up for the blogs to pick up. I truly and honestly felt some type of motherfucking way because that nigga said that shit. I felt some type of way. 
I didn't do that for no blogs. I don't need no fucking clout. That shit don't make me no money. Bitch, I make money in real time, in real fucking life. Just by be, me being me. So, where my, where my lesbians at? Y'all didn't feel no kind of way? Hold on. Go back. They said, hold on, because I see somebody saying there were plenty of women. There were plenty of, wait a minute, Maddie. Hold on. Let's get, let's do it. There were plenty of women that spoke out how you know if a woman is a lesbian or not. But, honey, listen. Whether they, listen to me, boo. Music by LA, I love you, boo, but I'm just letting it be known. Where was my dykes? Saying, I'm a lesbian. And this bothered me. Not just that I'm a woman. I'm a lesbian and this made me feel some type of motherfucking way. Because I stand ten, I stand ten toes down on me being a transsexual, a tranny. I don't want to be no motherfucking uh, a bio woman. I don't want to be that. I want to be exactly what I am, bitch. In between. Titties at the top, dick at the bottom. That's exactly what I want to be every day. So sometimes I do feel like that I be out on a limb and then, you know, members of my own community, because I seen a gay boy over there telling me he took the male side. The gay boy said that I be attacking men. Nigga, you didn't see that man dragging that fucking woman? You didn't see that black man dragging that woman and being, there? you didn't see all the men in that movie were evil to this woman. You mean to tell me you didn't see that? How am I bashing because what I seen? I seen the same shit you seen. How did you, as a man, skip that? And then the moment that she finds a, 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 some, some, some type of solace or some type of freedom in a woman, oh, God, we ain't even delve into that. 